Today we are doing a really simple art project. All you need is some paper and glue if you want to put it together, um, some construction paper, and we are going to make dinosaurs out of different shapes. So we're going to go over our shapes. Anyone know what shape this is? It's half of a circle, so it's called a semicircle. Good job. And what shape is this? That is a rectangle. And this is a square. Good work. Um, this is this is easy. What's that? Triangle. Good work. And I have two different shapes here. They look similar, but they are different. Start with a pink one. Does anyone know what shape that is? It's the shape of a stop sign. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides, it's called an octagon. Good job. And this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, and it's called a hexagon. Good job. So we have all our different shapes, and we are going to try to build a dinosaur out of these shapes. So the other day, I talked about stegosauruses, and they have plates all along their back. So I'm going to try to make a stegosaurus. But you guys can use your imagination and do whatever dinosaur you want. I'll show you a few. Um, if you have glue, you can glue them together. Or if you have uh, these shaped but in blocks, you can do those too. So I'm going to put this for my stegosaurus head. And I'm going to use my rectangles. So I used my octagon for my stegosaurus head. I'm going to use my rectangles to do for his legs one two three four legs the stegosaurus has four legs but remember stegosaurus can stand on its back two legs to reach up into the trees to get more leaves and then i'm going to use another rectangle for his tail and now for the cool part i'm going to put spikes on his back with my triangles i'm going to make them purple and pink And then remember, the stegosaurus has spikes on their tail to on their tails to help them defend themselves. To so make sure that the um, allosaurus doesn't eat them. Uh, so I'm gonna put two spikes on his tail, and I made a stegosaurus. Circle, and I'm gonna use. Wait, hold on. A brachiosaurus has a very, very long neck. So, what do you think we should use? Should we use rectangles, or should we use squares? I think we should use the long rectangles. All right, I'm gonna make his. I'm gonna use two because his neck is super duper long, and I'm gonna use my hexagon for his head, and I'm gonna use the squares. For his legs, how many legs does he have? Four, I think. One, two, three, four legs. And what are we missing for the brachiosaurus? Brachiosaurus, the long necks, they can ha they have a really long neck to reach for the trees, but what are we missing? Oh, that's right, we're missing a tail. I'm gonna use another, because they, they have long tails too. I'm gonna use more rectangles for their tails and they don't have spikes on their tails like the stegosaurus but i made look at that brachiosaurus <laughs> guess what teacher tony and teacher ellen our favorite dinosaur is the ankylosaurus so i think we need to make the ankylosaurus it's a very cool dinosaur with an armor back and a hammer tail and his head is a little bit smaller so i'm going to use my hexagon remember hexagon has six sides that's his head and i'm going to put uh i'm going to put some squares on his back for his armor this is his armor back and remember he has a big strong tail before we do the tail, I'm going to put four legs on him. Ankylosaurus have four legs. One, two, three, 
Where's my shorter? Four. All right, here's my tail. I remember Ankylosaurus has a hammer tail and some of them even have spikes on them. So I'm gonna use my big old octagon and that's gonna be for his hammer tail. I'm gonna add some spikes on his hammer tail. You can do, and you can even make your own dinosaur creation with these different shapes. Use your imagination and you can build a, a, any kind of dinosaur you want. You can even make your own. You can even make any uh, a kind of dinosaur that the, maybe the paleontologists haven't found yet and you can name it your dinosaur. You can name it the Toniosaurus. You can name it the Finosaurus. You can name it the Colbiosaurus. Um, you can even name it the Blairosaurus. You can name it whatever you want and you can make your dinosaur. Um, so it's a very simple, easy way of making dinosaurs out of different shapes. Use your imagination and I would love to see your creations. Um, I hope you guys like this little art project and shape uh, matching. And I will see you guys in Circo. Bye.